rounding numbers. If the instruction is round this number to two decimals, then you first look at the third decimal, which in this case is a 4. If this number is a 4 or smaller than a 4, the second num decimal remains the same and the third decimal, decimal number will disappear. So this number was 1,454. Uh, 1,454. The 5 remained a 5 and the 4 disappeared. <coughs> If the instruction is round to two decimals, you will again look at the third decimal. Okay, so you will look at that seven. <clears throat> so the number is one comma four five seven. Now, because this seven is a far is larger than five, what will happen is the second decimal will increase with one. And the third decimal will disappear. So the number 1,457 will be rounded to 1,46. Okay, so the new instruction is round to the nearest whole number. So we just want a number, no decimals. So we look at the first decimal. Because this is a 4, it will... Um, not influence the one. So let's quickly continue with the presentation. So if this number is a 4 or smaller than 4, the whole number will remain the same. So the 1 will stay a 1 and all the decimals will disappear. Okay, so the new instruction is round 1,547 to the nearest whole number. You will again look at the first decimal. Okay, so now you will look at this 5. If that number is a 5 or larger than 5, the whole number will increase with 1. So the 1 will turn into a 2 and all the other decimals will disappear. Okay, so now this is a very special case. 199,7. The instruction is round to the nearest whole number. So again you will look at the first decimal, which in this case is a 7. Okay. Now because this number is larger than 5, the whole number will increase with 1. But if 9 increases with 1, it becomes a 10. And that is exactly what happens. The 9 will turn into a 10, which will turn this 9 into a 10, which will th turn that into a 2. So in the number 199,7, it rounds to 200, rounding in everyday life. In South Africa, we do not use the 1 cent and 2 cent any longer. So when we buy a product that is 7 rand 99 cents, we will pay 795 for it. The cash registers are um, programmed to run to the nearest 5 cent less to, than the stated price. So even though the number 799 mathematically will run to 8 rand because the 5 cent less than 7 rand 99 is 795, we will only pay 795 for it. So the example is, how much will you pay for chocolate that costs 8 rand 72? Okay. You will pay 8 rand 70 because the cash registers will round amounts to the nearest 5 cent amount less than the stated price. So if a product costs 8 rand 72, you will only pay 8 rand 70 for it. How many meters is 3,572 centimeters? <clears throat> okay. 
<clears throat> okay, so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. To convert from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. So, 3,752 centimeters, if we divide by 100, we get 37,52 meters. Now, this is a 5, so the 7 has to increase with 1, and the decimals will disappear. So, 37,52 meters is rounded to 38 meters.